Daniel Anderson is back at Parramatta where his coaching career began in junior reps back in 1991. After a highly successful stint coaching in England with Glamour Club St Helens where he won an English Super League title and three Challenge Cups, Anderson is delighted to be back at the club he calls home. In general, David, it's, it's, we're in really good shape. You know, I've had Joel Reddy's had a very long uh, off-season with osteitis pubis, so he's coming back now. Unfortunately, Junior Paulo uh, ruptured his pectoral about two weeks ago, so he's three to four months in, re in rehab and recovery. Nathan Kalis is, is a bit of a concern for us now. He's, he had, a, obviously, the, the World Cup, and then he had a break, and he came back in January, and he's had blood poisoning and in hospital with, with a ball, affected ball, and now he's got a bit of a calf strain. So he hasn't, been, hasn't got too much miles in his legs. What have you done uh, that may have been remarkably different here at Parramatta versus uh, the coach previously and, and, in fact, even the coach prior to that? Have you shaken things up very much here? I don't know. I don't know what people have done before me. I just do what, what I feel is necessary for, if you want, the philosophy or strategy that, that I have and, and we have as a group to go forward. You know, I've spoken to the players on the style of footy that we'd like to play this year. If we want to play a certain style, I think you've got to get yourself in a certain physical shape to play a style. So I, I don't know what anyone's done before. We're just doing what we do now. Fair enough. Eels fans will be hanging off every word you say. You realise watching this right now. Uh, what sort of football are they going to play <laughs> in 2009? And are they prepared sufficiently to execute that? I think we're prepared sufficiently. I'm really happy with the the attitude and effort and commitment in training. I can't ask much more. Uh, hopefully we can, um, you know, we can play tough, and hopefully there's an opportunity to be a bit pretty. You know, I'd like to think there's a lot of very talented ball players in this team. You've still got to um, do the hard yards, we all know that, but I'd, I'd love for us to be able to showcase some of the talents, Jared Hayne, Kristen Inu, Filetti Mateo, their talents that they have to offer. There's a perception in the NRL from people that know that the Parramatta Reels is almost the perfect model for the game. Magnificent home ground, cashed up lease club, massive junior base, uh, great infrastructure in terms of people in key areas. Firstly, do you agree with that? And secondly, are you confident heading into your first season at the helm here that you're going to be in the eight? In answer to your first question, it is a fantastic model and a, and a great club. And I've been lucky. I've been in the juniors and I've been uh, an assistant in the seniors and now I'm back to, to, to take charge. And I, I know it's a, a tremendous club. So, uh, yeah, it is a great model and a great uh, advertisement for our game. And, and I think if Parramatta are going well, it's fair to say that rugby, the Rugby League and the NRL governing body are very happy. Uh, I would think that, you know, I, I would expect, and if, if you polled the players as they came in, they would expect to be in the eight and make the eight this year, and it would be a disappointment if we didn't. Mm. Not a lot doing in terms of, uh, of recruitment here. So obviously the player roster that was in place, uh, there's a belief that, that that squad can get the job done, given a bit of luck with injuries. Always, that's the variable, you know, injuries. Um, but, I, you know, obviously I haven't been able to put any any mark on, on player recruitment or retention, but... But in saying that, I don't think I need to. I'm very comfortable with the squad that's assembled here. And you're right, it's they're, they're plenty of talent. Uh, I just need to get the balance right, I think, of the talent versus the hard-working player and, and all of us go in the one direction. Given the magnitude of this club and all the, the upsides that we talked about previously in this discussion, does that make Daniel Anderson the man in the hot seat? Uh, isn't everyone in the hot seat that's a coach in rugby league in, in, in the NRL? I, I'm not worried about it. I, I anticipate there's going to be pressure and, and there's going to be scrutiny on my position and, and the results of Parramatta, uh, you know, display this year. But I, I guess I've been in the game long enough to know that it, it's not always great and it's not always bad. You, it, you've got to keep, keep calm and try and keep your emotions in check and stay as composed as possible. I think we'll be rewarded for our efforts in the off-season. If we combine and, as I said, I get the balance right with my selections, then I think we'll, we'll, we'll get some good results. Last point, you're playing the Panthers this weekend in Griffith and you've named um, a pretty good side. Expectations there? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a very good question, Dave. And I, and I guess I, I don't have the, the, the um, perfect answer for you at all. I don't even know of the competitive toughness of a number of the players in this squad. Uh, the reason that I've picked a, uh, a strong team and, and with a sprinkling of first-grade experience 
is even though they've played um, 20 games of first grade, I haven't seen too much of their abilities on the field. So it's a real eye-opener for me, and I'm pretty sure the players will recognise that it's an opportunity to, to uh, get some credits up with, uh, with the coach. It's interesting you say my last question was a good question. Does that mean all my others were terrible? No, I thought that that, that last one just was made me think most that more of the others. So, uh, no, I liked all the other questions as well. Nice to see you, mate. <laughs> see you, David. Yes, Daniel Anderson has a big job to do here at the Eels in 2009 and the Blue and Gold Army will certainly be hoping he can turn the ship around. Let's now on the program have a look at the club's gains and losses approaching the 2009 NRL kickoff. In terms of gains, there are three notable acquisitions, Kevin Kingston, Jeff Robson and Callan Richardson. In the losses department, gone are Mark Riddell, Daniel Wagon and Chad Robertson. As far as the Eels are concerned, there are three pre-season trials. I've already alluded first of those against the Panthers this coming weekend in Griffith. Well, ironically, they'll also face the Panthers the week after. That match to be played in Panther territory and then follow that up with another trial at Gosford at Blue Tongue Stadium on Saturday night, February 28. That against the Roosters. We do thank you very much for your company this week on Rugby League Summertime, proudly supported by Warren or plumbing services and we'll see you on next week's program in the same time slot. Have a great week.